So my name's Clinton Wolf, and welcome to DevOps Days Philadelphia 2024. Woo! Woo! All right, DevOps Days Philadelphia 2024. Welcome to Philadelphia. Our lovely bridges. Wait a minute. That's Pittsburgh. Um, there may be an error in our slides. OK, so we have a problem there. OK, corrections to be made. We have continuous improvement to be made. But you are part of something amazing. In 2009, Patrick Dubois and others lamented the gaps between dev and ops and held an informal two-day unconference in Ghent, Belgium. They called it DevOps Days. They started a whole new movement. And in, uh, this started to take off across the world. It was an unconference, meaning that it was a conference uh, built up by the grassroots. Volunteers put on the conference. Volunteers put it on. They, it wasn't sponsored by major organizations at first. It wasn't an idea produced by a major corporation or anything like that. This spread across the world. Um, and by 2016, we had our first one here in Philadelphia. Um, there became a, a major uh, global organization to help uh, create uh, new uh, DevOps Days organizations. And we, uh, with their help, we started one in 2016. We held our first one in Philly. Um, the pandemic uh, knocked us back a bit, but after a long hiatus, we're back for our fifth year, the 15th anniversary of DevOps Days here in 2024. So who are we? Let's see a show of hands. Is this your first tech conference? There's a few of you. All right. Is this your first DevOps Days? Most of you. OK. So some of you have been to a DevOps Days before. Have any of you been to DevOps Days Philly before? Just a few repeats. OK. All right, good. So it's OK for me to reuse jokes from previous years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll keep that in mind. All right, so who are we as a people? We, we usually come in saying we're dev people, we're ops people, we're sec people, but we all come in kind of as a mix. So I'd like to see a show of hands who primarily identifies as a developer. It's interesting. And look around, get a feel for who the audience is. Who primarily identifies as a security engineer? Just a few, just a few. Who primarily identifies as an SRE operations type person? Several bits, all right. And who says these distinctions are just completely meaningless in 2024? <laughs> and that's why you're at this conference, all right. OK, just curious. We've asked this question every time, every time we've had this, and, and the hands that are raised are interesting. So anyway, I like to ask these questions to get a feel for the audience so that you know who you are and who you are amongst yourselves and who else is here. Because some, there may be some of you here that come from completely different backgrounds, but you're all here for similar reasons. So a little bit about us as organizers. Um, there are about seven of us as organizers. Uh, we are uh, volunteers. Uh, things may go wrong or wrong. Um, if you see something go wrong, Try to say something. Um, the volunteer uh, organizers are the ones with the red stripe on the badge. You'll also find volunteers. Uh, volunteers are the ones with the yellow. Yellow, yeah, with the yellow. Um, they are people who are helping out for just a short span of time, but they may be less informed about the actual goings on of the conference, but they will be able to help you out in the brief time. Um, if you find, if you need something, find someone with a red conference badge. And uh, if you really think, gosh, this whole thing could be run better, consider helping out next year. That would be great. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the code of conduct. The main thing is act like a professional, treat each other with respect. This is a professional space. Be inclusive of each other's different backgrounds and experiences. DevOps is such, an, is such a big, broad background. You could be talking to someone who has no experience whatsoever in the field that you are a deep expert on and you don't want to make them feel like a complete imposter and, and make them feel invalid just because they have no idea what you're talking about. So, you know, be inclusive. And if there is any sort of incident where something comes up, try to find someone with a red conference badge and we'll try to get the situation handled, okay? All right, code of conduct. So here's our schedule, here's what we're doing. 
Uh, this is a typical uh, DevOps Days uh, schedule. We're going to have full talks in the morning, and then we're going to have a snack break around, two, uh, around 1025. And uh, lunch is provided, as is a, a light dinner. Uh, we're going to have an evening event. Uh, uh, the evening event is over at a, uh, uh, a separate venue. I'll go over that later on um, uh, at a bit. It's at the uh, Hotel uh, Kempton Monaco uh, Stratus Lounge. It's very nice. Uh, during lunch, we have a uh, job mixer during lunch. Uh, it's in the classroom during lunch uh, in Haas. Bring your own lunch. Uh, you can be a hire or a seeker or both. It's offered both days. Should be a good time. Uh, this afternoon, uh, we have short talks, lightning talks. Then we have or open spaces to, or to organize and begin. Open spaces are often the best part of the conference. So um, have even any of you ever been to an open space before? Just a few. Okay, an open space is where the conference dissolves and instead of hearing speeches, you all get together in groups and talk about whatever you want. You can talk about what a pleasant experience it has been adopting Kubernetes. <laughs> you can talk about anything at all. Any problem that's been worrying you or problems that you can't solve or opportunities that you see in the marketplace, changes that you see, it's all, you propose it, you vote on what you want to talk about it, you get together as a group and you, and you hash it out. It's great. All right, we have a workshop in the afternoon. It's terraforming with GitHub Actions. Uh, there is limited space, but you do get to come and go as you please. It runs during the open space time and that will be in Haas. All right, finally, the sponsor passport. Uh, the sponsor passport, uh, you should have been issued one of these at uh, registration, yes? I hope so. Some people are nodding, yes, and some are being waved. Go around to the sponsor tables, get all the stamps, and then you'll get fabulous prizes. Fabulous prizes, including, I believe, an ornithopter, an actual working ornithopter that you can get in and fly around and harass your enemies. <laughs> so, at any rate, uh, now the thing about the fabulous prizes is that you must be present to win at the end of the day Wednesday. That's how we get you to stay to the end of the conference. So use the passport and please stay. <laughs> Getting around, lunch and sponsors are all upstairs. Main talks are downstairs. Look for signs of their logo. The evening event tonight is at the Stratus Lounge, 433 Chestnut Street. It's just a block and a half away down the street. It's not a big deal to get to. There's a map on the back of your, um, on the back of your passport showing a highly complex orientation of a straight line walking down the street. <laughs> if you can handle that, uh, that uh, directions, you can do it. All right. And finally then, for those that are on call, uh, let's be kind to them, share the Wi-Fi and share the limited charging stations. That's all the morning announcements. Sorry it was so dry, <laughs> but that's all I got. I think we're ready to get into the talks. Are we excited? All right, it's DevOps Days Philadelphia 2024. All right, have fun everybody.